Hi, Simon from Painting in France. <laughs> Good afternoon. As I said, what are you going to do today? Um, I am painting a scene from a Corsican collection because tomorrow we are doing um, the first class we're doing. We're going to be starting with the scene from Corsica. So I'm going to do a little test piece to see if I know what to do. Um, so do you want to come and have a look what we're going to do? I'm just going to scoot around. Very ad lib, of course. But anyway, this is I've picked what I like because I can do a little exercise for an hour or so with the guys. Um, just a rudiments of perspective and so on, which here you see a drawing. It's basically one point perspective. The central, the vanishing point is kind of smack in the middle there between the, the church, which is the church of San Antonino, uh, for those who have been there before. And kind of everything vanishes to that one point, the roof line, the paving and so on. So I'll be doing the drawing for the guys tomorrow. I've actually drawn it out roughly already and ready to start pulling colour on. You mean you'll be doing, doing the drawing with the guys? With the guys, that's what I meant, yes. So we'll just, this is going to be a very kind of quick, quick technique. I've literally got a, a nice sort of a cerulean blue mixed up here. And we're going to whoosh this in across the sky and get that going there nicely. I'm just going to avoid the buildings. Uh, no, I haven't wet the paper, I forgot. It's sometimes a good idea to do that. It just helps to blend the colours nicely. This is all quite vertical, which is unusual. Um, and I'm hoping it's going to uh, be okay, not run down the page on me. But Does it, is it a train smash if you do forget? No, I, I, don't, I don't think so. I think the, the jury's there. I like, I'm quite happy doing like this. I think actually if, you, if you're working slower, you can probably benefit from having a damp paper because it will just be a bit more forgiving. If you're, you don't want your paint to dry out and finish in stripes. Having said that, I want to quickly add, I've got a little wash of cerulean blue. I'm going to add some pathalo blue, just to give it a slightly richer Mediterranean feel. And I'm just gonna put that in across there. So you see now, that's just strengthening that blue. And I'll put a few little Whiz marks, that'll be quite nice. And actually, while I've got that colour on, I'm, if you look, there's some, some distant mountains here, and I can paint that in just quite loosely around here, like that. That can be the, uh, those distant, I've got a little, bit, a little bit rough, because I wanted a bit of texture in there, and that's kind of, uh, that's kind of that. I noticed you're using quite a big brush. Yes, <laughs> it's, always, it's always good if you can to um, yeah, use a big brush to begin with, get some big colours on. In fact, I'm looking now, that's a little bit of a sharp edge. So I've cleaned my brush, it's still a bit damp. I'm just going to wipe that, wipe that away. How's that lighting? So I'll bring the lighting around a bit. I'm not sure if it's going to um, help okay. that much. So we've just washed some blue in. Um, I'm now going to go to my second favourite colour, which is the which is the Naples yellow. If you look at the picture here, Hold on one second. I'm just turning my we're just adjusting there. the mics. How are these sounding, by the way, guys? This is the, um, the new radio mics we've been trying out. Oh, I'm sorry, I think I've just made them both louder. Okay, we will just um, see how this goes. The main thing is the painting, of course. So if you look at the picture, the main color of this kind of whole area is this kind of lovely Naples yellow color. And then we've got some other colours blending on top. So I'm going to do the buildings and then add some sort of deeper sort of terracotta colours and uh, some burnt umbers, a little bit of pink in there, I think. And then we're going to do the planting right at the very end. So if you'd like to stand back, darling, I'll uh, um, just... You mean what? Gently, Monica? Yes. Just get out of there. There we are. Please. I'm going to put this on quite loosely. Ideally, not running too close to the to the blue sky. I'm going to leave, oh, there's a little, little door frame, a little white door frame there as well, look. Let's get that out. You're just going to leave that? I'll leave that out, yeah. Um, I'll try not to get into the sky because that will blur, make a lovely kind of green colour, which is what we don't want. So I'm literally going to go over everything with this. It's incredibly light. It is light, don't worry, it's going to be darker. Okay. Um, I'm just, on the note, I've mixed Mix it a little bit stronger. 
painting over the, gr the greenery. It's got the church tower here. That's all good. This is a, a, almost a kind of travel journal style. Really. Imagine you're, you're sat here on the side of the road on this old path and you just want to kind of grab it and you possibly go back to your studio and do a wonderful oil painting at some point. Um, so this is kind of going on quite roughly. What they call a watercolour study. A watercolour study, yes indeed. So now I'm adding a little bit of yellow ochre. Let's just add some, just to, oops, excuse my gurgling Tom. Um, that's, I'm just adding a little bit of yellow ochre into the mix. So we're just adding some different kind of tones in. But as you see, still quite a big brush. So can that Slap just it have in. a quick look? Yeah. Your, um, I just want to look at your colour palette. Yeah, okay. So I'm just getting some, some Naples yellow. Okay. And we've got some yellow ochre here. I'm mixing these in just for these so kind of... Is that the yellow ochre? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's a little bit of a wash at the moment. Okay. Um, and then we might add a little bit of um, burnt sienna. But at the moment, I'm kind of moving relatively quickly. I'm not worrying too much about the shadows. It's kind of more about the... Just a little changes of, of colour here and there. Do you see what I mean? Just sort of, that will blend in. I mean, this is where your damp paper does come in because it just helps to blend everything. That kind of pot is kind of the same colour, which I may add something to. Um, there we are. Perhaps a touch of, a uh, little touch of the, the burnt sienna now, just going in. So you see, while it's still damp, you know, you can add, you can add these colours, oh, a bit strong, but that's, I've still got quite a big brush here, you can see, and I'm just... Uh, I mean, if you were worried about that, could you dab it down a little bit? Uh, yes, I might just do that, um, but it's, it's going to be darker with the, with the shadow eventually anyway, but at the moment this is kind of, it's not so much shadows we're, we're doing here, we're just adding a little bit of texture and colour into some of these. Sort of create what? those nuances along the stones. That's the word I was looking for, yes. Um, let's have a little bit of that That's in there. You exactly, darling. Exactly. There we are. Um, so a little bit of that. Let's have... I'll, I'll put some more little details in here later on. But you're right, I might just damp brush, just sort of blend that a little bit. We're going to come back and um, clean that up. Uh, great. Okay, that'll do. And now a slightly smaller brush what should we do next i forgot we should have yeah, the hair me. the you're hair dryer too yeah the artist the artist okay yes in which case um i think what we'll do is Wait, do you need the hair I, it would have it would have been handy but don't worry we can just um keep this keep this flowing just, it's in the room next no no worry. I'll, I'll come over here look i've got some i've got some uh some roof areas that's a bit flat color there so i might just put a little bit of um, I think on that side, isn't it? Oh, it is, yeah. Oh, okay, right. I'm, I'm going I'm to use this colour because I've got it on my brush. And um, we're just kind of... It's, it's an artistic impression, a loose interpretation of the scene. That is a bit pink in there. You can, I haven't got that on my palette. I might come back to that. In the meantime, let's have a little bit of um, this kind of terracotta colour going on. Let's put a little bit of terracotta in there might come back later and just give it a hint of a hint of a shadow yeah that's fine so as you can see at this point it, it still looks quite vague we're just sort of splashing in some some tones in I'm going to just put a little bit more up here look um, I've got a slightly smaller brush on the go what size is that this is a 12 okay that's just, that's quite a nice little detail. So you can see through the, see through the tower. Can I just show you? And um, you've got the bell eventually, a little cross on okay. top. So should you that's not have blue in that little section? Good observation, darling. Good observation. I think you'll find that that's, I may come back to that a little bit more blue. I think it's a bit too polarised here. I think it's a bit too strong. The thing is the watercolour, you can always add colour, but it's a bit of a nightmare to try and take it off. So, what should we do? I think, you know, I'm going to go straight in with some, um, some shadows. Can I just ask? You're yeah. busy with the um, terracotta. Now, mm. as a, a very amateur painter, I'd be sitting there going, oh, maybe I'll do that line along there as well. Ah, yes. The, the, you know, that yeah. line of tiles. Or 
am I just trying to get too detailed? Too detailed too soon, I'm afraid. A lot of people do that, and I have to go up and snap their brush in half. No, keep your brushes big and loose to begin with. Okay. Um, I'm now mixing just to like a little, uh, uh, a kind of shadow tone, because we're gonna, we can come in with a little, little brush right at the very end and add that. I know the temptation is there, but I'm mixing some, some Payne's Grey and a little kind of magenta colour in here. Pure shadows by any chance, let's just... What's that? I'm just showing you. Okay, yeah. So I've got a little bit of Payne's Grey, a little bit of magenta, um, just to kind of soften the, the greyness off. And we can just paint that in. Let's have a go. Um, I'm going to just take a deep breath and put that in there. And down there. It's probably still a little bit damp. You can see it's kind of flooding. What's nice, if you look there, there's a nice, there must be a little gap in the wall because there's um, a little gap in the shadow as well. So well, it's a little doorway, isn't it? That's right, yeah. So I'm just, I'm going to go in. Gateway. I've got this slightly wobbly line here. And what's, what's quite nice is you'll see there's a, it's a, it's a bit lighter as it comes down the wall. Okay, um, so if you look here, this is kind of the shadow area, but actually this is kind of warmer, reflected from over this side, and that's a cooler from the sky. Whether I'll be able to catch that, I'm not sure. At this point, I'm just wiping a little bit of, a bit of tone away with a damp brush, and hopefully that'll just give an illusion of um, light. It's a quick watercolor sketch, ladies and gentlemen. Um, now, same again, this side, look. It kind of comes across here. It's not quite drawn uh, completely correctly, but I'm just sort of... You've also got that long shadow going across the road. I you? thought that was a long shadow, but if you look, what it's a step. What would it be a shadow oh. of? It's I a know, step. I was trying to figure that out, yeah. and I thought maybe it was the steeple, but it didn't quite mm. correspond. Yeah, no, that's it, so okay. well done. I'm going to put that in um, somewhere about here. I'll do. And then there's a, it kind of comes around here. And then you have got the shadow of the church. And it's these kind of shadows that just make it or break it. Um, you see what I mean? Now I'm going up the, behind the wall here. This is going to be kind of greeny, greenery. There's a bit of a wall I here. That's immediately what gives the painting a certain sense of That's right. Isn't yes, it? that's right. Um, yeah. So I'm just kind of, there's a few little... And also the reason why your shadows, you need to know where your light source is coming from. Because if Key. your shadows all start running in different directions, it's... Talking of things running in different directions? Just your brain going. kind of figures it out, doesn't it? And goes, oh, there's something wrong. That's, that's the idea, yeah. So it is, I mean, as you can see, quite early on, we've just put a wash of cerulean blue with a bit of pathalo blue. Some Naples yellow and different colours, ochres and siennas, just to, while well, that's damp in there. And actually, it, it might just still be a little bit wet. But I've just put a Payne's Grey Magenta mix, and we've got a little bit of shadow on that little wall here, look. That's like that. And we, we could probably do a little bit more shadow down here, look. Um, that, that just wall kind of recesses away a little bit. And there we go. And while I'm while I'm at it, I'm just going to. I've got it in my got that colour in my brush. I'm going to put a little. If you look, there's a nice little shadow of the geraniums on this old rustic pot. The shadows are running away with them. They are. Oh, as long as they don't run down the page. But we shall carry on, even if they do. So this is just hinting at the. A very British, darling. There we are. On. Carry on, regardless, absolutely wash the brush out and oh, already taking shape. So now, once again, <laughs> I would lean back, have a little glass of wine while this dries as I'm sat in this cafe, or if I'm in the studio, I would normally have run a hair dry across it. Which we still have that incredible Which the, thing in the bathroom. Oh yeah, the we do, yeah, I might go and get it, yeah. But actually, I'm gonna, I've got some more shadow here, look, there's a little bit just under that doorway. It's, um, no yawning, come on. Sorry. And uh, <laughs> that's another little bit of shadow there. Oh, even, oh, why not? If you look, 
at this little, there's like a little yellowy porch thing. And that's, if you look at that, that's another thing. It's got a little cast shadow. Can you see that? And so what, but it's, it's, it's kind it's of, kind of pale, yes. It's bizarre because you've got sun coming through there, but that's, casting a shadow as well. So it's that's actually it, yeah. deepening the colour. Let's go. It's kind of that sort of shape. Yeah. And I'll just fade it out. Maybe like that. You see now again, I would have been tempted because yeah. the colour in there, I would have been tempted to put in a slightly deeper layer of Naples yellow yeah, or something in. I'm hastily doing that down here. Yeah. <laughs> At your suggestion. But no, it's true. Um, I, yeah, there's just it is it's just that lovely tint, isn't it, there? But I've crossed it up there we are. How's I'll that better? For your expertise because obviously Of I'm, course. Um, but and then that's probably a little bit of a muddy yellow kind of. But we're going to, we can flick some lines in there later on and that will just bring that back to life. So I'm just going to wind that up. Taking shape, good. Now an even smaller brush. I'm using, now we're using a, a number eight. And these are kind of imitation sables, which um, are really good because they get a nice point on them. And no animals have been harmed. Absolutely, you, this, is the, this is very true. So, I'm already looking at a few, do you know what, I'm going to put a little bit more shadow on, on the actual church. And I may have run out of shadow, so my tip, always mix up a little bit more colour than you need. <laughs> mix up more colour than you need, because running out, you're going to have to mix it all again. Which is now what I'm going to try and do. You never get quite the And you never get quite the same colour. So, uh, so, always yeah, it's always good as well. Once you've mixed your colour, just try it out on a bit of bit of card, bit of card. Yes, that's not quite right. Mix some more. A bit thinner. I think we're okay. Um, but there's some lovely uh, colour. Now a finer brush here, because I think this is a key part of the painting, just that kind of shape of that. What do you call it? It wouldn't be a tower, would it? What do you, what do you call that? Um, it's a spire. Well, it's, it's not church. really, it's like, oh, bell, is it a bell it's tower? Yeah. Bell tower. Bell that's, tower. you see, now it's already gone a little bit too dark. But I'm just going to kind of, I've got a kind of sort of damp brush, and I'm just kind of spreading that out a bit there now. And uh, might be... I'm just trying to get your nose out of the oh, so, <laughs> All I can see there is the nose. Okay, do you want to move around a bit? Or I shall have oh, surgery. Um, that's got a little bit more white around it, not But what's interesting is that this kind of colour looks like it's, I guess the weather just kind of run down, down the walls over the century. And that's sort of, I think I'm getting away with it. So I'm just, once again, a damp brush. I'm just going to fade that out. Down there, that's quite nice. I right, said so it does need a bit of blue in there, but a bit more on the back. Let's have a little bit more colour down there. It's a little bit strong. But now you see we've got all the all the key colours in and pretty simple palette. I'll recap in a sec. Oh, you read my mind. There we are. Now we can start putting some details in and uh, drying that off. So once just to recap, we've got the I washed the sky in first, cerulean blue, with a little bit of pathalo blue. Uh, with that same mix, I kind of just hinted those distant hills. And then some Naples yellow and yellow ochre and burnt sienna, just very light washes, all blending together for the overall background colour. Deep breath. Then, Payne's grey with a little bit of magenta mixed in, and picked out all those shadows to give it that beautiful, sunny, Corsican day feel. Um, having said that, let's have a look at... Uh, I'm just going to put a little bit more down here. Oop. When are we going to Corsica? Soon. We must. Well, that's kind of what was driving me tomorrow because a lot of the people who are coming tomorrow morning have been to Corsica. So I thought, ah, they'll have some pictures. And sure enough, you know, when, you, when you're traveling, take, take a lot of photographs. Even, um, you know, of course, take a lot of photographs. But I mean, thinking, oh, that would make a nice picture. Perhaps you've not got your drawing or painting equipment with you. Well, you can come back to a studio and um, your house and whatever, set it up and uh, do a painting from home. We often use um, reference photographs like this. But through also the, the advantage often is, I mean, as we've noticed, you can often get a beautiful picture 
but you can't actually paint the ceiling. You can't sit there right. For some of the reason, you know, there's nowhere to sit, there's yeah. cars in the way, That's there it. are people in the way. Yes, um, you the geraniums the in the way. Yeah, yeah it's uh, the geraniums road. everywhere. Oh, well, in the middle of a road in this situation. Yes, you know, that's true. Possible. Yeah, no, this is it. I mean, the chances are you just took this photograph and then a whole pile of school kids came by and set up and um, blocked the scene, blocked the scene. Okay, so now we've got the main things in. What I'm going to do is just go back here. We've got some sort of greenery. Let's go for the, I hear the crowd roar as the sap green comes out. And I'm just literally going to... Can we have a look at sap green? Uh, sap green, yeah. Sap yeah. green is this kind of lovely... It's a really green green, mid, isn't it? It's a really kind of green green. It's that kind of fresh colour. It's kind of spring um, green. Spring green, yes. So I'm just literally going to put a... Where was Where does it go? It kind of comes into there. Putting the planting in later is great because you can just sort of cover over edges which you weren't quite sure about, I don't think. Um, dab, dab here, dab there. Dab uh, here, Likewise with the... With the geraniums, I mean, yes, I want to try and keep some of the the red areas free of colour because I want to, I want that to kind of really stand out. I may have already blown it, but let's just get some wash on there. See, it's so realistic, you can hear the flies. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to put this out in there. And the, the red, you see, the, the pinky geranium mix will come on pretty strongly later on. Let's keep this quiet quite nice and loose. And actually while that's still damp, I've got a bit of a bit of hooker's green. You can use other greens of course. And I'm just going to put a, I might have to leave that to dry a little bit. I want a bit of extra deep green in there, but we're going to have to let that dry I think a bit. Because when once that's dried, then you can put your, you know, your very bright um, colours on. But what I'll do now, I'll just put a few a little bit of burnt, burnt umber, some window frames. Yeah, they seem to be little wooden shutters that haven't yeah, been painted. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Um, I think, you know, we can get away with just literally just for this kind of style of, I'll just put a few, a few windows here. I mean, that, going back to the perspective drawing, that's where that, Getting a little vanishing point and a few guidelines before you start drawing really counts because it because all your windows are going to go the same way. And all the windows, the roof line, the doorway, they're all going to vanish to the same place, more or less, because there will be curves and there will be kind of quirky um, things going on too. Especially if you're not um, sort of doing modern business. Yes, exactly. Yeah, I mean, uh, we live here in the in the south of France and there's not a straight line in the street. So that can be quite a challenge to, uh, to paint. So, oh, let's just put a little bit of door. Let's put a little, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just, perhaps just simply sort of fill it all in. It's kind of like that. Um, or I might just do a little, there's a kind of squiggle of metal work and let's just, into something going on there. I might come back with a little fine brush on that. Likewise on there. Um, Him putting good. the drain camera in, I'm so disappointed. Oh, no, I think I'm going to leave that out. I'm going to just sketch some stones in, I think. These are still a little bit damp for putting the pinks on and the darks. Um, the you want the roof lining very well, my dear. We'll do that. Yes. Yeah, it's true. I've got a bit of a, a burnt sienna Sorry. mix with a fine brush, and I'll I'll see what I can do. I'm just is it, is it, now here is a bit of wobble. See, it's like I'm able to commission the painting. Commission the painting. Okay, right. Yeah. Um, My personal artist. So let me just take a deep breath because it's kind of it's kind of like that. It's got a little bit of a curve on, isn't it? I mean, this is and I don't want to lean, I'm trying not to lean on, you can kind of even see around me. I'm just trying to get this in. There we are, let's do that. Um, it's got that kind of a, it's a bit wobbly on the edge, but that's all right. It's that kind of a, it's that kind of town. And um, maybe another little window or something in here. Look. That's all right, I always want here. I think that's, that's, that's fine, that's great. 
Um, so we've got all that going. Oh, this is quite a dark, a dark window in there, isn't it? I'll just see if I can, um, what I might do, I might just, I'll do the shape like that. And then maybe even a slightly smaller brush. Yes, I'm going to do a slightly smaller brush for the, um, for the bell that's in that. Once again, this is pure, pure, pure Payne's grey. And that just gives it all a bit of a, a shape. That's, not, that's almost bell shape, but not quite. It looks a bit uh, wobbly, doesn't it? <laughs> I think people will get the idea. A bit of a cross. Um, what else have we got going on? There's some railings here, shall Windows there, or this one there. Oh yeah, go on, I'll put... Um, I mean, I know they I'll put those. They are to the owners of the house. Um, but I did that. Let's put just a little hint of some extra shadows in there. Look, and down the back. So it's kind of um, it's sort of there, really. The, I mean, the final thing would be, um, yeah, some some little drawings with this. Like so, I want to get some. Oh, I'm going to let these areas dry here look and in the meantime I've got this kind of soft crayon it's like a black soft crayon like a watercolor crayon yeah. um, Schwarz black Faber Castell Albrecht Dura he used to use them so they've got to be good um, and I'm it just it's a bit softer than a, a pencil effect so it may work if if it's still a little bit damp <laughs> it's gonna smudge and once you've drawn on this then you can't really um, do anything again because if you paint over it, it will smudge. Yeah, you, you can go because it is a water. Is it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, but they're they're very nice for just you know you're just hinting at some. Yeah, you don't want to go around everything, but I'm just sort of wanting to get a few. Just that hint. Oh yeah, that's a vertical. Because you're space. not going in there sort of painting every little. No, rock exactly. And stone. Yeah, so I'm just sort of putting, hinting at some edges. We've got a um, little bit of a line kind of work coming down here. And possibly, you know, some, what's good, if you take the, some stones from the sunlight into the shade, it just helps kind of anchor it all down, do you see what I mean? And try and be random, don't just go stone, stone, stone. Just sort of be random. Um, and you don't need many of them either, really. May I make an observation? You can make another observation, of course. Your pot and your... They're the, yes. Because they're the same colour, they're kind of just disappearing into one another. That's right, so what I'll do, what you can do, you can just take your stones to the edge, look, and that helps to separate it. But I might just put a... Um, I'll put another wash of colour on just to give it a... Just, you know, make it stand out a bit more from the the crowd. The crowd. Um, there we go, a bit more of that. That's quite good. The bell, I'm gonna leave, <laughs> leave the bell, I think. A um, bit more across here. And your trellis work, or the sort of cast iron work? Oh yeah, okay, work. yeah. I mean, do you wanna come on this side? Cause I'm gonna lick him over there. Yes. All right. Um, so yeah, we've got- Very rude. Sorry about that, yes. Um, I just wanted to, so once again, you know, yes, you can do all this with a, with a fine brush. You could have always had a, a slightly stronger pencil line, but I kind of like the, the other way this gives a nice sort of little option here, bit of a thing. That's cool. And you can get away with it because it's, although it's not particularly accurately drawn, it gives a nice, a nice feel, I think. A few stones, just to emphasize the fact it's gonna be going that way. We've got a few lines here. Let's have a look. That can be wobbly, I like that. A bit more stones, la la la. Tiles. Okay, yeah, so yeah, there is this. Let's just put a few shapes in for the uh, flowers, but I will come back and just boldly uh, try and put some. You know, this can be a bit more grill like. Okay, now I'll just come back on the back again. And then all I wanted to do really was just add this. A uh, nice little, yeah, some, it's, it's kind of very dark in here. I'm going to have to go get the, uh, get the, get the dryer. Or you're going to have to imagine it. 
or I might just finish it off after we've uh, started to stop chatting. Um, but basically, you see, once that, once that light green has dried, then you can go in with some really nice um, dark greens, which just sort of help emphasize the, that beautiful sunny day look. I tend to use just a, a few greens. I've got um, a sap green and a, and a hooker's green. All my uh, students are so familiar with those, but there is obviously many, many greens you can use. Uh, yeah, by all means, try them out and uh, give them a go. And what I might do now is just quickly um, find some white, which I haven't got. I'm gonna put some white, ah! I know where the white is. That's right, that's what we do. Oh, look. This is what I was using That's on my right. eyelashes the other day. Oh, you're losing. oh, for the fancy dress? Yeah. Uh -huh. No, but I don't know where I put it. Don't worry, I'll, if, I, if I come behind you, I'm sure I've got some right here. I'll put them out, yes, I'll put them out for tomorrow. Now, we often shy away from using white. It's like a white gouache, but it's actually um, very good for just that, that punchy last colours over the top. So I'm going to mix up a very... In fact, these are going to be, uh, I've got this kind of red, cadmium red with a bit of white gouache for that. Uh, let's just give it a go. The yeah, so that's what it looks. So I'm literally going to just... So oh, it gives it a certain... It's almost sort of 3D, isn't it, really? Um, you know, Would you call it opacity? No, opacity is when something see-through. No, that's the other way around. That's right. transparency. Oh, this is opacity, yes, opacity. it does. Um, well, the, the, the white gouache is just that, it's, um, it's an opaque mix, so it, by adding some white gouache to watercolour, it gives it the, exactly that kind of opaque finish, and enabling you to paint over you know, colours beneath, which would be difficult in, in watercolour. So I'm just sort of, yeah, this has come down a little bit, but that's okay. And I hear the purest shade The purest, they are, they are. Yes, you can mask this out with a... Um, with, um, masking fluid if you want but you know I kind of like um, it gives a bit of depth to the picture I mean like, like I said I'm, I'm dying to I'm going to put a few in but they may just blob uh, oh yeah yeah look, there's a few once again ideally let this dry and then you can really build in a few bright sort of uh, those are the kind of, oh you're right yes the bougainvilleas the indeed you're right so that's probably a slightly different color but you see, if you put it into the green, it blends. Although that's kind of quite nice as well, isn't it? Sisyphe. I'd say that's enough. Yeah, I mean, all I would do is just to finish off. I might just extend that wall down. See how that kind of, it ran a bit down there. I'm just going to extend the wall. Pretend that's just down kind of there. A few more stones in. A few of these across here. And, um, and are you doing anything with that pot? Oh, the pot. Go on then. What colour would you like it? It just needs a little bit more depth of colour. How about, um, okay, let's just uh, give it a good old, what have we got? Oh, blimey. Well, that's quite. That's bold, isn't it? And now it's gonna, that's going to interfere with my shadows. <laughs> but I might just touch those up. You see me, that's where the shadows were. The shadows, I should have done this earlier. Um, but due to heckling, I'm having to do it now. Um, just to give the, 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 the pot an extra bit of shape. And um, let's just paint over the uh, shadows as well. It's all kind of going on, isn't it? And this is a loose, we're talking a watercolour sketch here. The sort of thing you might do in a, a travel journal while you're, oops, while you're down there. So once again, just blurred a bit. So I'm just going to use a little, um, in fact, I'll just wipe that out. I've got a clean, clean brush, rinse it out, and I'm just going to kind of wipe a so little. Try this. It just gives it a bit of shape. And this is running away now as well. But it's that kind of, uh, it's that sort of feel. Has, is that better, darling? Is that now stand out? Yes. Good. I mean, I think. It's quite nice. It kind of takes you into the painting. Yeah. Actually, looking at it again, I could go on for hours, but I won't. I just wanted to bring just, just a little hint of, you know, the kind of different sort of colours we've got going on here. And they will kind of blend back as well. But if you look at the, all the stones are 
you know, different different tones. There's a little bit of pink in there, maybe as well. And um, that's that's nice. Just sort of breaking that up a little bit. Mm. More of it down the foreground. Don't go near the yellow because that will smudge. Or oh, maybe just one or two. And by just having some details in the front, but not in the back, it just helps you take the your eye into the picture. So it's it's kind of running away there, but <laughs> I think I'll stop there. It'll give you an idea of how you can put a quick sketch together with the watercolors. So a relatively tight pencil sketch using your vanishing points. Ideally, with, we've got one point perspective here. Other perspective are available. <laughs> um, and then splashing some color in. And yes, it's a loose style, but I, I kind of like that style too in an occasion rather than too detailed. My wife wanted me to put those roof lines in very early on, but no, try to avoid the details at the beginning. Just put them, you know, touch it in later on. So I hope you like that and um, please subscribe and, uh, and like to hear more, more cubes, more uh, videos coming up and check out our playlist because there's lots more going on. Okay, thanks for watching.